very interesting and um, I think I saw a really gorgeous in the left to the left is that a is that a large sea fan up ahead as well or is that just more rock which I guess we'll find out in a minute well uh, we can look at it after you after we take a look at this probably a sponge <laughs> we have some good questions in the chat for the RV pilots is this a good time sure the first question is do the ROVs have some kind of sonar or something that can act as a kind of like parking a sensor when the surroundings are too close to the sides? Uh, yes, we have two sonars on Herc. One's a scanning sonar, comes above the foam pack, and we can see 360 degrees around us. And um, the other one is a scanning sonar, but it doesn't go 360 degrees. There's a 180 degree sweep in front That's of the what vehicle. I was about. That's Atalanta okay. also has sonar. It's amazing how to help keep that away from there, the the cliff face as we come up steep patches like this. It's probably been pretty handy in these last two dives. There's been yes. a lot of Yeah, you can see. I don't think they're broadcasting that view, but the rock face is lighting up like a Christmas tree. About 20 meters away, you can see it clearly. <laughs> oh yeah. It's a very useful tool. I think there's um a larger uh coral colony uh, a little bit to the right and Towards forward. The right. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I'm talking away. That's all right. You're answering good questions. Yep, a little more to the right. A little more to the right, okay. Oh, there we and go. Maybe down. Yeah. It wasn't just my You're not mind crazy. playing tricks on me, or my eyes playing tricks on me. You have great vision, Jane. 2020. Was it 2020, baby? <laughs> That's what I said the other day. <laughs> This reminds me of when Sean White, Sean White said, Mountain Dew, baby. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Moment in pop culture history. <laughs> Let's see. Can you zoom out a little bit? Uh, yes, please. Out, please. I'm trying to get closer. You can see a crinoid, a few, uh, a few, few of them. Oh no, never mind. Have you ID'd this? It's not. Uh, if you can please zoom. Up, please? Yeah. Can we z yeah, just come wide for a second? Bridge now. Beautiful. Oh. We can zoom in if you'd like. Did you want us to part of it? Uh, part of it you want to see in particular? Um, at least the good shots of the polyps will be yeah. good. At least, what do you think, Heisa? Uh, it'd be amazing if more zoom you can Whoa. get better. Uh, this is a quite bushy uh, bamboo coral. Um, as far as I can identify, is <laughs> this bamboo core will you be? Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, so um, if uh, someone in the chat, let us know if someone um, have a... Yeah, Steve or Asako, if you guys have an idea on this possible. So we have... Slash your pink top. We have bamboo coral. Any um, species? Not bamboo, probably, or black. It's 
Is it Chris Segorgia? No. I think uh, it is bamboo because cool. you can see the nodes. No, you can see the nodes here, like uh, oh, here, yeah. here, and now here. So okay. And also when we get the polyps and the way the polyps is spread, for instance, um, and the way branch, the angle of a branching as well can give some help of identification. Well, that's like a long tentacle right there by the left laser. Oh yeah, interesting. It's like. Yeah, I see exactly what you're looking at. That <laughs> is interesting. I'll make uh, note of that. And to me, it looks like they are all alternated in terms of the polyps. <sighs> That's great. Perfect. I've got Thank some so really much. great photos on that. Thank you. Okay, here we go. That's a question for Tim. He's been working with that. Um, I, I think they correct the color after the fact. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I, I, I thought I asked that question before. I'm not sure. But let's check with Tim on that. Michael, I have a question in the chat. Is this a good time to ask? Yeah. Is there anything in the ocean that scares you, either yeah. rational Ooh. or irrational? It's yeah. a great Black question. Bear. I think I know the answer to this question because we were talking about it at like three in the morning. But <laughs> just wondering what you think. Anything you might in say. the ocean that scares me, <laughs> rational or irrational? <laughs> um. Is there anything in the ocean that doesn't scare you? <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah, that's probably a better question. <laughs> uh, Giant isopods. <laughs> Megalodon. I would say... Um, it's probably the same thing that, you know, that's like on land or anything. It's like the edge of the dark, you know? That's probably the scariest I'm part. I'm scared of the dark, too. Yeah. Aww. Like that, that, that <laughs> edge right there. Aww. Right, you just can't... You could see you see it a lot in Herc. Like there's just something right there. It's your imagination. And it's always just like right out of reach. That's the worst part Fear because that just stays in your head. Fear of the unknown, huh? Uh, sort of. I thought you were gonna say a giant polyp. <laughs> oh <laughs> no, that's just amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it is a polyp. That a is a lumba Yeah. <laughs> one. I'd be a dream to see one. Well, I think Michael was saying he was on the cruise when they saw the last one, so oh. wow. he's bringing us good luck. Yeah, hopefully he yeah, brings like good luck as well for Jesus. They, they shouldn't have a movie it's about the bamboos. Meg. It should be about that polyp. Yeah. <laughs> Probably as, bamboos. Yeah. yeah as, as far as we can see here is the similar pattern you have been seeing the past uh, minutes. <laughs> yeah. Where we have uh, several bamboos and some uh, yeah it seems like we're more on top of the ridge now uh, yeah. what i was talking about earlier so this is good yeah bridge now can we have five zero meters one one zero please thank you what's the distance to waypoint two please distance to waypoint two is 550 meters Wow. Yeah. Far away. Yeah, I 
I know your goal was to make it between <laughs> between well, three and four, but we yeah. I don't think we'll make it to three. Oh, uh, boy. Okay. Um, in some respect. But we are cruising. I mean, we haven't really stopped. That's We've been true. moving pretty much From a certain time, perspective, so. if you look kind of like the other We're way. We're seeing some cool stuff. We are between three and four. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're right. <laughs> Depends on your <laughs> relative perspective. Exactly. exactly. You, exactly. If you pick your bearing just right. Says the <laughs> physics major. Yeah. What, what state of, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. If we could travel fast enough, we'd go back in time and get there sooner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. So these boulders they kind of have like this, uh, like linear ridges kind of coming out from the center. Is that from breakage? It's hard to see now. We just kind of passed over a few like that. I'll try and point some more out earlier. You know, in geology, we don't. We're looking at we weathered surfaces, so there isn't a whole lot of, I don't know, geologic meaning to the truncated sort of the <laughs> weathered surfaces of rocks, I guess. Um, so it's probably fractures and cracks and things like that. It's interesting to see how the sediment accumulates in yeah. these uh, areas. Yep. Yeah, and um. you could kind of see like this definitely on the left side broke off and the little boulders have fallen out. It's scanning sonar, but it doesn't go 360 degrees. There's a 180 degree sweep in front That's of the vehicle. Atalanta also has sonar. It's amazing. To help keep that away from there, the, the cliff face as we come up steep patches like this. It's probably been pretty handy in these last two dives. There's been yes. a lot of... Yeah, you can see. I don't think they're broadcasting that view, but the rock face is lighting up like a Christmas tree. About 20 meters away, you can <laughs> see it clearly. Oh, yeah. It's a very useful tool. I think there's um, a larger uh, coral colony uh, a little bit to the right and to forward. To the right? Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I'm talking away. That's all right. You're answering good questions. Yep, a little more to the right. A little more to the right, okay. Oh, there we and go. Maybe down. Yeah. It wasn't just my mind crazy. playing tricks on me, or my eyes playing tricks on me. You have great vision, Jing. 2020. What was it 2020, baby? <laughs> That's what I said the other day. <laughs> this reminds me of when Sean White, Sean White said, Mountain Dew, baby. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Moment in pop culture history. <laughs> Let's see. Zoom out a little bit. Uh, yes, please. Out, please. I'm trying to get closer. We can see a crinoid. Uh, uh, a no, few, few of them. Oh no, never mind. Have you ID'd this? It's one. not. Uh, if you can please zoom, zoom up, please. Yeah. Can we? Z yeah, just come wide for a second. So you have sort of a welded surface. Let's zoom in, Paz. So. Oh, oh, so <laughs> oh, here it comes. Saibonifor? 
Or is that a it's an itty bitty is that on a stock? It's kind of like a dandelion. It, is, it yeah. does look like it's on a stock, doesn't it? I think they have those like long threads that they grow themselves with. Yeah, if you can get a little closer and zoom yeah. better, can you, this um, is pretty neat. Can you come out, please? Yeah. yeah. Get us closer. And then we'll dandelion siphonophore, Rodalia species, says Steve. Wow. Um, yep. It might wow. be. So Hold on one second, right. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen Some this yet on any of our dives. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you become a biologist. Biologist. These are pretty identifiable when you see them. They're memorable. <laughs> I'm going to try to get a shot in the tricops camera. Um, yeah, that would be. That's really it cool. It almost looks like it's floating you in that. You can see his stalks in that one, actually. To focus is just are. There's like two, two. Th it's like a oh like no. a speeder. He's releasing. He just released a bunch of stuff. Yeah. I think he's scared. That? Yeah, probably. Want to zoom in? Uh, if we ask any of these animals what their yeah, worst yes, nightmare underwater is. Yeah. Zoom in, you scared the bleep out of them. Yeah, uh, you can <laughs> see what it is. And you can see in the triclops camera, you can see the tentacles, like the or, or right. the threads. Right. Oh, interesting. Very cool. Yeah, that's nice shot. Boy, you can get a nice focus on it, perhaps. Oh, yeah, you can see all the different threads. Uh, hold on a sec, sorry. Yeah, the triclops you can really see looks like he can anchor himself to not go with the the, yeah. the, the current, you know. It does so look it, like it goes all the way down to the rock. Exactly, because you see that there is the current and everything he was releasing was going, but he's keeping the same position. It's a good. Uh, yeah. There's a couple of strings, yeah. Yeah, look yeah. at that. So That's very cool looking. Yeah, so probably he, he managed to anchor himself, anchor like uh, to stabilize itself. Uh, yeah. How's the capture? Uh, getting there. Sorry, That's good. I keep moving the pan and tilt. That's amazing. Did you try zooming the um, triclops? Um, the tough. zoom he didn't really work. I'll try to get I, so I as we. Try, I think I'm getting it's slow. going. Yeah, it's you have okay. To let I think. It go. Yeah. <laughs> I think I've got uh, some good still captures from Herc uh, as well. It's just the, the triclops, you can really see a lot the threads. In a like, uh, yeah. It looks like when you press the zoom, okay. they never can stop. Come, <laughs> can we come wide, please? Now that it's zoomed, maybe we could focus it. I don't know. You can, if you can uh, just... You want the triclops shot? Uh, the triclops, please, yeah. yeah. It's so... Um, Creepy. Unresponsive to the... Oh, yeah, that too. Oh, it's getting, yeah. Jane, can you tell us more about siphonophores? Yeah, Ooh, I can't tell you a lot about siphonophores, but um, they are <laughs> they are cnidarians. They, I do know that they um, have differentiated body parts. So they are, I believe they're colonial organisms where parts of their body will, uh, I think I, I can see you looking over at um, a man of war picture, which is an example of a siphonophore. Yeah. Um, where you have one part body part is differentiated to be the float, and then you have these long threads. Similar to jellyfish, they can definitely sting with um, nidocytes. Um, I really don't know a lot about siphonophores, I'll, pipe I'll be up honest. About this one. Hi, Leela. Hi, this is one of my favorite siphonophores ever, Yay. the sea dandelion. And uh, just like you said, Jane, that's right, the top part, uh, the kind of more translucent part, uh, those are the nectosomes, the nectosome, the nectophores that they use for jet propulsion. So that's the medusa form of the polyp and then, or a form of the colony. And then the bottom is uh, the tentacles covered in more of the polyp form that do other jobs like feeding and protection. But the, ten the really long threads they use to anchor themselves um, while they're feeding. And then they also have this kind of pearly thing on top uh, a, a pneumatophore that is uh, helps them with flotation, gas-filled chamber, sort of like what you know a, a man of war has, a Portuguese man of war. Yeah, they're very cool animals. That was our science manager, Lila Bellucci, chiming in. Very she knowledgeable. She just like storm through the, through the ship. So. Yeah, she had a it's ton like, of. Yeah, yeah, I need to get on SPL. <laughs> Oh, that's perfect. We was it Leela before right. who said that her favorite animal was a siphonophore? I think a so. A deep sea animal? I thought that was the case. Or one of them, at least. 
Did you get the picture you needed in that? Sorry, before it started floating away. I think yeah, so. I, think we're, I, I we're, did, yeah. I think we're so good on Zoom. Okay. I apologize for everyone who has to sort through my million photos of it, but yes. Th thanks so much. That and will be meme, and I will enjoy every moment of it. Yeah. Just put them in the folder. Throw them in the Google Drive. The only thing I realized, the mouse was the picture, the oh, sign. Yeah. But I think we can after. Yeah. If you, yeah, I guess we should remember to move it to the side. We have a question in the chat. Any guesses on what well, would eat the sea dandelion? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know, but <laughs> sea slugs. Sea I'm sea laughing sea because uh, Steve says e they don't slurp pardon, well. If you, can, <laughs> if you, sorry, if you can have a look in the soft sediment to see if you have something there, mini sea pants. <laughs> but, uh, oh, right here. Two. Yeah. Ah, okay. A rock with a ponytail. <laughs> I see it. That's how you know it's a cool, laid-back rock. Yeah, it looks like just a, there is a tube, tube anemone in the other side, but this one looks like just a stalk of a sponge. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Can you come wide, please? And if you're seeing the Cyclop camera, that is a little bit in the corner, uh, to be warm, anemone. Seems a little, a little free floating, a polychaete maybe, or a ice oh pod. Yeah. Hard to see. Shrimp. Or a shrimp. Shrimp. Looks like more polychaete. The way that's swimming. Uh, resemble a uh, Nice view in the triclops. I love the triclops, but it's giving me such a hard time to focus. You let me know if you're taking pictures with that, and um, I'll try to not move. Uh, okay. I will be taking pictures all the time, so don't, oh, okay. don't, don't worry. If there is right. something <laughs> really like, really, really Eventually important, we'll then I, I ask you to... Statistically, there'll be plenty of in-focus ones. <laughs> I think if you manage 10% being focused, that would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm really interested in I studied bamboo coral, but it's something that's so present and so abundant in the, in, in the deep sea. It would be interesting to see, so I'm very curious about it. So Jane, this is your test. What is this? Uh, <laughs> this is a presented, no? Yay! Hey. 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 You get a sticker! <laughs> Really? Can confused. I actually have a sticker? <laughs> if I can find one on the boat. <laughs> but it's really hard, to be honest. Like my first cruise that was about 10 years ago, uh, I supposed to collect crinoids. And oh the first I collect one distinct thing was crinoid. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a lot of experience with deep Pacific uh, fauna. I'm learning a ton on this cruise. Yeah, same here. Um, I think has been an incredible opportunity like um, I have been diving so much in the northeast Atlantic and <laughs> see this part of the, the deep sea the world is, is absolutely amazing and just if I could take two seconds I just want to say hi to all my friends back in Kentucky that are watching finally caught me in an hour that works for them so I'm glad they're listening Hi, friends. Hello. <laughs> We're finally in a day watch, and I'm the most, uh, day dive, and I'm the most tired I've been. It's all that studying you've been doing. Oh, yeah. Is that what he tells you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, watching hours and hours of Bill Nye. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for my comprehensive exam <laughs> is, is, is so completely 
here looks a little bit feel. more uh, flat, but still we have similar um, communities that we are seeing since we started that our shift at least. Pilots, just to get perspective, are we are we go still going up or? Um, this spot here is relatively flat. We are slowly are coming Sorry, up slope, um, but gradually. Yeah, it's looks more much more flat than what we are seeing a little bit before. That was really. Okay, Steve has a request if we have time to collect one of these uh, multi-branched, low-branching bamboo corals. How much left do we have in they're, they're, they're common, so okay. we'll, if we missed a few, we can find others. Let me know when you but see one you like. be on the hunt. Okay, I might just hold off on putting in another ship move and let this one swing out um, a little bit, and then we should have time to sample. Sample and catch up. Okay. So they are kind of all over the place. Um, I don't think it matters if we find a you know, perfect specimen or anything, but kind of like over the boulders to the left side of the right. screen and across on that sheet flow, any one of those. Okay. Bridge nav. Can we hold position, please? Thank you. Just gonna sit down over here where it's flat. Cool. All right, I'm waking up. You ready? I'm gonna, well, you know, waking up without coffee. Did we lose the autofocus on the triclops? Uh, when they are flying a little ah. bit high, then ah. we, 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 we can focus. Yeah. That's a nice picture of the Iridogorgia in the triclops. Okay. Shrimp. Yes, it does. Um, oh, because he's going run 10, right? <sighs> um, okay, it looks like there's some over there. Is that correct? I'm sorry? Uh, we saw him to the left before. Yeah, oh, yeah right in front of you, probably. But I'm not sure those are branching. There were some to the left on the sheet flow. We just passed over them, I think. Yeah, but that's yeah, that's just not pr that's uh, not preferable okay. to sit down yeah. there. That's, that's fine. Let's find a good spot to sit. We're trying to get the they're everywhere, so we're trying to get the path of it of it of Atlantis swing to give us more time. Oh, oh. whoa! Oh, sorry, almost crushed a guy, but I didn't. Uh, we had a, an interesting description um, of some of the boulders in the science chat. Amber Siravolo had mentioned that, um, so some of the boulders where you see those kind of linear geometric patterns in the center are patterns on the insides of the pillows and are fracture patterns from the cooling of the lava that can sometimes still be easily seen despite the um, iron manganese crusts. So when you see them inside a round feature, you're looking at the encrusted cross section of a basalt pillow. Mike, you ready? Okay. What Thank you, you Amber. It's fascinating. Thank you. Yeah, okay. that's cool. Did you oh, say this something? guy right here. Uh, so there is uh, this one in front where the. Oh, you said, are you ready? Oh, uh, yeah, I can get ready. <laughs> Let me get it would be cool to collect one of those of time fractured here. pillows, but they're so huge. I'm going to look for a small yeah. one. Um, no, let's go further down. Sorry, we just don't have time here. Okay, yeah, no problem. we can do it later. Otherwise, we'll have to bring the ship back a few steps, and I'd prefer not to do that. Okay. Roger that.
Okay, this is better. Let's see what we can find. Would, would that be one? Yep, Could any of those be, over there? I, I think if you like more of these. What if we just, I, I guess. It's just easier, similar, to s yeah. easier to sit the vehicle down where it's sort of flat, not all rubbly. Mm -hmm. We can ask Steve if he's happy. I don't know if he's hearing. Um, so that anything that we can get like a 15 to 20 centimeter good size snip. There we go. It's in the down cam. Because as far as I can see, there is different ones. There is ones that's branched and the, like this one having fronts, but there is one that's much branch and looks like they came really from. The, the base of the colony. I'm not sure if this would be. You want the honors? Sure. The, do we want money. the Do we want the branch or how are we doing this? Um, he hasn't. He gave any more explanation. He said just 15, 15 uh, 20 should centimeters. Be flexible well. skeleton. Yeah. Um, and it would so be great right if we could top. get like a quick zoom on it before we sample, just so that we have it for the log. Go ahead, Thomas. Doesn't have to be all the way in. Just the the, uh, the colony itself is good. That's perfect. If you Thank can you. get a, a zoom of where it's branch, you'd be amazing as well. Coming where, up. where this bifurcate like down? Yeah, just for us to see the angle and how is the oh brilliant. Jane, can you take uh, some of the? Yep. Thank you. Oh, fantastic, thank you. Yeah, come out, come wide, please. So 15 to, 15 to 20 centimeters, if possible, length. Is that correct about there? Just to give you an idea. It's so nice. So, yeah. yeah. Should be good. I don't know if you noticed, but where the polyps you got to flip your jaws over, buddy. Triclops. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Can you zoom in a little bit, Thomas? Maybe halfway? That's good. And as soon as he grabs it, can you come wide? Is that good? Sorry, as soon yeah, as it that breaks, that's yes, good. Yep. Come wide, please. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Nice. nice. Um, we'll need to put that into the starboard bio box, which is oh, coo man. cooler than the forward bio box. Bamboo corals don't do too well in the forward bio box, I, s I guess. Um, we do have a rock in bio box B that we could put it on top of so that we can leave other openings for heavy things. So okay. B would be great. There's a oh. message to slurp if we can. Oh. Oh, OK. Um. Uh, we've taken that size if you want to slurp it. Sure. This Whatever's is better for your sample. What do you slurp, guys prefer? Slurp probably in case it because okay. we don't want it to float away. Um, two slope, uh, slurp two would be great. Okay. Um, camera. Uh, bucket. Cameras. What oh, number is that okay. data? That is 097. 097. Thank you. Watch the. Uh, yeah. It's skating. Is it? Uh, are we in the? Uh, the thing. We flush it out a little bit. Well, we're um. Did you lose pressure? Yeah. I turned it off. 
Uh, what number, I'm sorry? Uh, which slurp number? Yeah. Two. Yeah, I don't, you can't really run it over 50%. Yeah, I don't. We're still, you got, we have the craft on. It's not live, is it? It's not live, no. Oh, come on. Yeah, we're already having some pressure issues. Okay. Um, what can we do? Um, we've got a good grip on it. Here, hold on. These numbers are not in the right order. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> There's one. Which is that I'm one right next to? I'm assuming two, this yeah. is two. I'm going to assume. Um, is there any way we can be sure? It's uh, between one and three. Okay. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> no, because we see five is next to seven back there. That's six. 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 If we can just get the number on, like, it doesn't matter. We'll just, we'll put have to yeah, put, yeah, it, put it in one that you can see yeah, the number yeah. on it so I can at least get the, because right. we have multiple bamboo corals already. I'll put it in this one then. Which number? That's six? Yeah. Right? I don't have my glasses, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Left is this one, is this one okay then? Yep. Okay. Thank you. If it's possible, there is a common. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let him try to get this sample. Mm. Yeah, that was weird. It just came roaring back. Unexpectedly. Okay. Um, I'm going to come down in front of it. Dave? Hmm. Dave Panos. Uh, are you going to keep uh, recording at uh, Cinebeck B? Okay. 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 Hold on. Let me. Uh, I'll leave it to you. Instruction. Thank you. Okay, so what movement do I need to make right now? <laughs> well, there's one. Which is that I'm one right next to? That I'm should assuming be two, this yeah. is two. I'm going to assume. Um, is there any way we can be sure? It's uh, between one and three. Okay. Well, no. <laughs> no, because <laughs> we see five is next to seven back there. That's six. Six. If we can just get the number on, like it doesn't matter. We'll just we'll put have to yeah, put, yeah, it, put it in one that you can see the yeah, number yeah. on it, so I can at least get the because we have multiple bamboo corals already. I'll put it in this one then. Which number? That's six. Yeah. Right. I don't have my glasses, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Left is this one? Is this one okay then? Yep. Okay. Thank you. If it's possible, there is a common. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let him try to get this sample. Mm. Yeah, that was weird. It just came roaring back unexpectedly. Okay. Um, I'm going to come down in front of it. Dave? Hmm. Dave Panos? Uh, are you going to keep uh, recording at uh, Cinebeck B? Okay. okay. Okay, hold on. Let me... Uh, I'll leave it to you. Instruction. Thank you. Okay, so what movement do I need to make right now? Are you asking or is it rhetorical? I'm trying to figure that out. Okay. There's like... Uh, see how I need to like, bring the... What is that, like the wrist, I guess? Yeah, so um, like the weird joint? You can, the, the wrist's on a 360 actuator, right? So you don't have to worry about it so much. So just try to bring, um, I guess it'd be <laughs> shoulder up, elbow down a little bit, and you bring the yaw down with it. And if you can get the side of the jaw next to the, the slurp, then you can rotate it into, into position. 
I know it's hard as you work in seven joints at once, so. We're stable here, so just do your do your best. Oh, that's we have, what I was we have looking a good, for. We have a good hold of it, so if we have to jump forward, we can do that. That's so, what I was looking for. Okay, you ready? Thirty percent. Come on, go in. Oh, no, the wave. Doesn't want to take it. Forty percent. There's definitely suction going into the jar. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna let go. Yeah, I think you can. Ready? Yeah. It's on fifty percent suction, so it should go. It's going up the tube. I saw it. There we go. Yay. Nice job. Nice Yay. work. Thank you. Yay. Awesome job. Fantastic. How's the ship holding still? I'm thinking about getting a rock here while we're stopped. We are holding, yep. Um, oh, okay. okay. Do you see one? Oh, you first, uh, Aisa wanted to look at something. Oh. Yeah, sorry, I got distracted and I didn't see that you were maneuver for the collection, but is a little bit, if you can zoom out. Please. It's full loud. So are we wide? Yes, yes, it's full wide. Okay. Which, which oh, way did okay. you want to look? So we, we can see in the other opportunity because there is a colony further here uh -huh, yeah. and that the branch is different. Um, and I just would like to have a look how that colony branch. Can you please put the arm away? Yes. Sorry, I shouldn't have moved until you did that. That was my fault. That's fine. I just wasn't sure we are going to. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll keep my eye out for a rock, but you can put the arm away for now or copy if it's not bothering you where it is that's fine we have plenty of spaces for rocks in the yeah we do actually i i can see it but if you'd like to collect take advantage of that uh, is the stable that the vehicle is stable now what's going on that's not what I want. Uh, if I can have a look on this one instead, then. Yeah. Yeah, you could actually. Um, yeah, never mind. You got it. I'll just keep my mouth shut. You're doing good. You can zoom in on that panel if you'd like. There you go. If you can zoom in in, um, in the base, that would be amazing. The base, yeah. Gotcha. And then try to get some polyps in there. Is that good? I think that's good. Right time? Yes, yeah, that's fine. Oh, um, now you okay. good. Cool. Is there a rock back there that you missed? Yeah, really Brilliant. branching a lot right there. Right at the base, huh? I just would like to see if there is any pattern in the branching here. And then it oh my gosh, what's happening to the... Yeah, yeah, it's hard to get a good yeah, uh, no the like capture this, when these it's moving so much. Are already be but he zoomed like in pretty far. Amazing, yeah. You'll be absolutely amazing just to, to start noticing this. Thank you so much. No problem. Okay, I, I saw a, a rock, a couple rocks that I'm not sure you can reach them, but uh, kind of at the base of this slope here. Okay. Those are really large, so it would have to be a, one of the smaller ones.
the one that the lasers are on right there wasn't bad. This one would work too, probably. Nice and close, I think you can grab that. Alright, coming up. Go for it. I'm gonna have to yeah, do this live. This one, that uh, one. Can you reach this one? I kind of like that the best of the pile here. That one? Yeah. It's a little flat, is it? Hold it there, hold it there. Dang it. There you go. Nope. I'm coming down, I'm coming down. If you're afraid you're going to drop it, put it on the porch. If you think it's fine, then that's cool. Yeah, it looks good. Maybe give it a spin. Yes, please. I'm already on it. And actually, if you could pause uh, kind of as you're spinning, just so I can get some different angles and it's not too uh, blurry, that'd be awesome. Ooh, look at that. Okay. And you can spin. Hold on a second. Let me turn on the lights. Glamour oh, shots. They're on. They're on. Oh, it's already on. Sorry. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Can you wave, waving it around? <laughs> A hand model. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can it go any further, uh, like turn one more click towards us at all or no? Like this? Yeah, in that direction. I just don't know if we got the top side. There we go. Is that alteration, that white spot, Dwight? Um, not sure. It could be bacteria mat okay. or All right. sediment. I'm not really sure. Awesome. And we have lots of room for it. Um, let's put it. Where are we going? We can put it in a forward bio box, right, Dwight? Or should we wait for a larger um, one? I'd throw it in one of the uh, The starboard small, small ones. Yeah. Let's go for A, please. Okay. Uh, do we have any floaties? No. Okay. Rocks. We can save the oh, rocks and nuggets only. Yeah, that's right. You're trying to get more bio. Back get the there, box out for Well, we can you put bio on top of the rocks. Yeah, it's yeah. better. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want to crush good. stuff. Hey, can you follow me over? Yes, absolutely. You want bubble cam or main cam? Both. Oh, it's so needy. <laughs> I straighten out before I even turn. All right, well, that's all I can give you at the main cam, so. Let me know when you're ready for the box. Okay, I think I'm ready. Okay. Where are we going? A, please. Oh, of course. Uh, oh! 
Uh, or wherever it just went. Uh, how oh, did it go in? Oh, I think I still see it. It's still, it's like right on the ridge. It's that's okay. You can, you, you can put it. In, you can go in one of those. Yep, that'll work. All, All right, right, that's it, with. It, I lost grip. E, it looks like right. Yeah, that's fine. Not a problem. Thank you. Give me a second. It'll hold that handle down better, maybe. Oh, what's going on? There is a scoop bag handle in there. Why isn't that doing anything I want it to do? Um, All right, hold up. What's going on? Ready? Yep. No. Yep, there you go. Hold on, so, yeah, all right. All right, go. go. I don't know what happened. It's, um, Come on. Yeah, we're okay. Sorry, it can be a little disorientating when you yeah. when you just turned around like that. Nice job. Yeah, well, we're good. Probably should have done what you said and put it on the port to get a better grip. It's actually pretty impressive how you were carrying it. I thought it was going to slip out earlier, to be honest. Yeah, with I did too. The, like the moment I came over, I was like, oh, I should have moved it. That's okay. There, that's yeah. There you go. Is that pedal that long? Yep, that's fine. I'm changing back to the other. What do they call these salvos? Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right, let's uh, get back on the roll. On the road. Yeah, we're good to uh, continue our move. All right. Can we get the? Um, yeah. Well, when you have a second, I know you're. Okay. Um, bridge no. now. Good sample. Can, That's good. No problem. Uh, can we have three zero meters zero six zero, please? Thank you. Oh, good. I'm sorry, did you say something, Ashley? I was just catching up on a sample log. No, just smiling over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I have seen like just one we work. Are you asking or is it rhetorical? I'm trying to figure that out. Okay. There's like, uh, see how I need to like bring the, what is that, like the wrist, I guess? Yeah, so um, the weird joint? You can, the, the wrist's on a 360 actuator, right? So. You don't have to worry about it so much. So just try to bring, um, I guess it'd be <laughs> shoulder up, elbow down a little bit, and you bring the yaw down with it. And if you can get the side of the jaw next to the, the slurp, then you can rotate it into into position. I know it's hard as you're working seven joints at once. So we're stable here, so just do your do your best. Oh, that's we have, what I was we have a good for. We have a good hold of it, so if we have to jump forward, we can do that. That's so what I was looking for. Okay, you ready? Thirty percent. Come on, go in. Oh no, the wave. Doesn't want to take it. Forty percent. There's definitely suction going into the jar. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna let go. Yeah, I think you can. Ready? Yeah. It's on fifty percent suction, so it should go. It's going up the tube. I saw it. There we go. Yes. Nice job. Nice Yay. work. Thank you. Yay. Awesome job. Fantastic. How's the ship holding still? I'm thinking about getting a rock here while we're stopped. We are holding, yep. Um, 
Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you see one? Oh, first, uh, Aisa wanted to look at something. Oh. Yeah, sorry, I got distracted and I didn't see that you were maneuver for the collection, but is a little bit, if you can zoom out. Yeah. Please. It's How full loud. Are, are we wide? Yes, yes, it's full wide. Okay. Which, a, which way oh, okay. did you want to look? So we, we can see in the other progenies because there is a colony further here uh -huh, yeah. and that the branch is different. Um, and I just would like to have a look how that colony branch. Can you please put the arm away? Yes. Sorry, I shouldn't have moved until you did that. That was my fault. That's fine. I just wasn't sure we are going to... Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll keep my eye out for a rock, but you can put the arm away for now. Or Copy. If it's not bothering you where it is, that's fine. We have plenty of spaces for rocks in them. Yeah. We do. Actually, I, I can see it, but if you'd like to collect, uh, take advantage that uh, is the stable, that the vehicle is stable now. What's going on? That's not what I want. Uh, if I can have a look on this one instead, then. Yeah. Yeah, you could actually, um, yeah, never mind, you got it. I'll just keep my mouth shut. You're doing good. You can zoom in on that panel if you'd like. There you go. If you can zoom in, in, um, in the base, that would be amazing. The base, yeah, gotcha. Try to get some polyps in there. Is that good? I think that's good. What time? Yes, yeah, that's fine. Oh, um, now you okay. Good. Cool. Is there a rock back there that you like? Yeah, really Brilliant. branching a lot right there. They're right at the base, huh? I just would like to see if there is any pattern in the branching here. And then I Oh my gosh, what's happening to the... Yeah, yeah it's hard to get a good yeah, uh, no the it's like capture this, when these it's moving so much. Are, are ready be but he like zoomed in pretty far. Amazing, yeah. You'll be absolutely amazing just to, to start noticing this. Thank you so much. No problem. Okay, I, I saw a, a rock, a couple rocks that I'm not sure you can reach them, but uh, kind of at the base of this slope here. Okay. Those are really large, so it would have to be a, one of the smaller ones. The one that the lasers are on right there wasn't bad. This one would work too, probably. Nice and close, I think you can grab that. All right, coming on. Go for it. I'm gonna have to yeah, do this live. This one, that uh, one. Can you reach this one? I kind of like that the best of the pile here. That one? Yeah. It's a little flat, is it? Hold it there, hold it there.
Dang it. There you go. Nope. I'm coming down, coming down. There you go. Be afraid you're gonna drop it, put it on the porch. If you think it's fine, then that's cool. Yeah, it looks good. Can you give it a spin? Yes, please. I'm already on it. And actually, if you could pause uh, kind of as you're spinning, just so I can get some different angles and it's not too uh, blurry, that'd be awesome. Ooh, look at that. Okay. And you can spin. Hold on a second. Let me turn on the lights. Glamour oh, shots. They're on. They're on. Oh, it's already on. Sorry. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Can you wave waving it around? <laughs> A hand model. <laughs> Can it go any further, uh, toward, like turn one more click towards us at all, or no? Like this? Yeah, in that direction. I just don't know if we got the top side. There we go. Is that alteration, that white spot, Dwight? Um, not sure. It could be bacteria mat okay. or all right. sediment. I'm not really sure. Awesome. And we have lots of room for it. Um, let's put it... Where are we going? We could put it in a forward bio box, right, Dwight? Or should we wait for a larger um, one? I'd throw it in one of the uh, The starboard small, small ones. Yeah. Let's go for A, please. Okay. Uh, do we have any floaties? No. Okay. Rocks. We can save the oh, rocks actually, and nuggets only. Yeah, that's right. You're trying to get more bio. Back get the there, box but, but we can put bio on top of the rocks. Yeah, it's yeah. better. Yeah. Yeah, A We don't want to crush good. stuff. Uh, can you follow me over? Yes, absolutely. You want bubble cam or main cam? Both. Oh, it's so needy. <laughs> I straighten out before I even turn. All right, well, that's all I can give you with the main cam, so. Let me know when you're ready for the box. Okay, I think I'm ready. Okay. Where are we going? A, please. Oh, of course. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, or wherever it just went. <laughs> uh, oh, did it go? In? Oh, I think I still see it. It's still, it's like right on the Teetering. ridge. Okay. That's okay. You can, you, you can, can put it. In you can it's go in one of those. Yep, that'll work. All, All right, right, that's it, with. It, I lost grip. E. It looks like right. Yeah, that's fine. Not a problem. Thank you. Give me a second. It'll hold that handle down better, maybe. Oh, what's going on? There is a scoop bag handle in there. Why is it not doing anything I want it to do? Um, All right, hold up. What's going on? Ready? Yep. No. Yep, there you go. Hold on, so, yeah, all right. All right, go. go. I don't know what happened. It's, um, Come on. Yeah, we're okay. Sorry, it can be a little disorientating when you yeah. when you just turned around like that. Nice job. Yeah, well, we're good. Probably should have done what you said and like, put it on the port to get a better grip. It's actually pretty impressive how you were carrying it. I thought it was going to slip out earlier, to be honest. Yeah, with you. I did too. The, like, the moment I came over, I was like, oh, I should have moved it. 
If that's okay there, that's... Yeah, there you go. Is that pilot one? Yep, that's fine. I'm changing back to the other... What do they call these? Salvos? Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right, let's uh, get back on the roll, on the road. Yeah, we're good to uh, continue our move. All right. Can we get the... Um, yeah. Well, when you have a second, I know you're... Okay. Um, bridge now. Good sample link. That's good. <laughs> no problem. No. Can we have three zero meters zero six zero, please? Thank you. Oh, good. I'm sorry, did you say something, Ashley? I was just catching up on a sample log. No, just smiling over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I have seen, like, just when we were collecting uh, some uh, crinoid in a cup coral as well. Just for yeah. the log, yeah. I did see the cup coral. And I think I saw the crinoid. Michael, what do we say when we see a cup collecting uh, some uh, crinoid in a cup coral as well? Just for yeah. the log, yeah. I did see the cup coral. And I think I saw the crinoid. Michael, what do we say when we see a cup of coral? We just got a little boy. Look at you. I love it. Yeah. Wow, what is going on with the Atalanta DBO? Yeah, it's all no. over the place. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's prop wash or something yeah, under the, the under the hydrophone. Um, can we swap these? Do you mind, Mike? I'm going to be needy. Can get what the cinema camera back up on that uh, on this one, and then put that one. Oh, over there. Yeah, okay. It's the one that isn't labeled for you. Ah, okay. Thank you. Next time, I'll still ask you to do it. <laughs> we're just uh, waiting for Atalanta to catch us. The boat just started to move, so we're waiting for it to swing up and give us a little bit more tether. That's fine. You can find something to zoom on, maybe yeah. to your left or right. Yeah, no problem. I haven't seen any sea slugs around. Cucumbers. What's our new uh, hmm? bearing? Like where are we headed? Uh, I think the ship's going zero six zero. Zero six zero. If I recall correctly. You can go back to the left. Uh, there's a few things over there. Sure. What do we got? Stuff. Stuff and things. Yep. Plenty of stuff and things. A crinoid or a sea star or something over there. That would the be coral. the right Gigi. Is that, do we already take a photo of that? Yeah, we oh, saw we did. a few. Oh, we did. It's the same one? <laughs> yes, yeah, the same one. Okay, yeah. sorry. Uh, maybe the sponge back here? All right. I don't think we have the leash for that, probably. Maybe not. I think we had that joke the other day. There's no crinoid in <laughs> exploration. Yeah, it's interesting to see, like, the difference of uh, community that we see. Because in our oh. previous Ooh, dive, was can't get there. so many crinoids. Couldn't quite get there. That's uh, fine. Got tugged on no. the end of the leash. We'll get there eventually. Like in a like in a warp nine. Like an excited good boy on a walk. <laughs> Any dogfish? There's catfish. Yeah, there's dogfish. They're kind of more like a shark though. Oh. Interesting. You can zoom in, Panos, if you like. A little far away, but we'll get there. Moving we'll right along. Oh.
Looks like another one of the... The Calofacet? ones that Calofacus, you saw before. Yeah. Um, so it's occurring to me that just based on these imageries um, that I'm looking at in the NOAA ID guide, that the Calofacus, the Rosellides, have kind of a... You come wide, please. ...concave back, or concave uh, yep. stem-facing side, and then the Bolosoma are the opposite. Uh, Is that right? Interesting. That's yeah. just, I don't know if that's across the board or anything, but that's just a quick observation for at least the ones we've seen. Yeah, makes sense. That's across the board, Jane. Nice. Good observation. Yes, that's how, that's the easiest way to tell apart Colophagus, Rosellids, and, uh, and Bolosoma, and Advena, and things like that, and the Euplectelids. Thank you. Yeah. Zoom in there, Panos, if you like. And that's the rock. What's the current like here? Um, it's it's not that bad, to be honest with you. Okay. Uh, it's kind of changing, but it's kind of weak in all directions. Okay. It just kind of catches me by surprise when it swirls. Right. There we go. All right. Well, maybe we can. Can we make cups for some lost time and yep. scoot along at like point? Can we get the ship going at point three? We can. We sure can. Bridge now. Get back to a better. Can we increase speed to zero point three knots, please? Thank you. There's we were just talking cucumber. about. Just drove by. Oh. Worm. We were just talking about the currents at these depths. Then we had a question earlier. Um, you often see deep sea corals that have a larger surface area perpendicular to the ocean surface than parallel to the ocean floor. If they would get their food from ocean dust without any currents, it would be more beneficial to have a surface parallel to the ocean floor, right? A surface parallel to the ocean floor, like downward facing? I think is I think that's or what we're saying. Downward facing. Um, falling. Sorry, could you read the first part of that question one more time? Sure. Is the current is it, well? Is there any current at the depths at these depths? Then we just confirm that there that there is. Mm -hmm. And you often see deep sea corals that have a large surface area perpendicular to the ocean surface. Yep. Um, perpendicular to the direction of current usually. So. Talk a little bit about how these deep sea corals feed and get their... Yeah, so deep sea corals, um, they are heterotrophic feeders. So unlike the corals in the shallows where you have some photosynthetic um, algae symbionts, uh, the deep sea corals, there's no light here, although I tend to forget that since we've only seen it in the bright lights of Herc. Um, but normally this is completely dark in the aphotic zone. So. All of the particles in the water that they catch, they need to catch with their polyps. So it's often here, very beneficial yeah. to move. Sorry, I was getting it in that one. <laughs> um, it's beneficial to have Zoom in, stalks that reach out into the water column and, and catch you know, anything that's being delivered. A lot of corals also have some structures that can kind of um, engineer the currents themselves. So in strong currents, you might it might be better for a coral to have um, some kind of structure that that alters that flow pattern so that strong currents uh, don't inhibit catch rates of, poly um, of zooplankton and, and detritus in the, in the water column. Um, as far as directional bodies, um, I think it would make sense to just maximize the direction that the flow is coming from. So you'll even see some corals on the underhangs of rocks, and it's really all just about the hydrography of the site. When I say hydrography, I mean the That's good zoom. Thanks. how the structures are kind of engineering the flow patterns themselves. So on a seamount, if you have something like an underhang or a canyon or a rivulet, that can kind of channel some of the current through it. And that's when you would see the corals um, and underhangs or, so, or areas like that. Um, so it's all dependent on the specific location that they're growing in, really. In general, I would think that it's perpendicular to the current. So if the current is coming uh, across the, the seamount, it's um, best to have it facing perpendicular to that flow to maximize catch. Thanks for that description, Jane. That was excellent. Mm. You're welcome.
So one of my areas of kind of building on that, one of my areas of research for my PhD is investigating how sclerotinian or stony corals, deep sea corals, um, are able to alter flow patterns to um, convert, you know, mo uh, a flow that's kind of has momentum in one direction to convert that to more turbulent flow in order to um, make it easier to mm -hmm. capture polyps, uh, not capture polyps, <laughs> the polyps are doing the capturing of uh, of food in the water column. Looks like we've got a fish. Yep. You can zoom in, Paddles. Is that a cuskiel? Yep. I'd say that's a good guess. Looks like it. Hey, where are you going? It's almost like he doesn't like the aggressively bright lights that we brought <laughs> with us. Nice. Yeah. Cinema cam. That looks pretty good. Sorry. Come on. Hey, can you stand still? Yeah, stop moving. Not you, I meant that you'll. I know, yeah. <laughs> well, I guess both of us. Yeah, right? I guess. Ooh, that's perfect. Wow, look Beautiful. at that close up. Can you turn the down lights on? Amazing. Oh, let's see if I can get them back. Oh, we're getting close to the bottom. We're all looking at the cinema cam. Yeah. It's on satellite yes, feed three. Beautiful pictures there. I think we're going to tap the rock soon before we're going to get it back in frame. Yep. All right. So what do we know about uh, the cuspeel? Is that what you called it? Cusk, C-U-S-K. A cusk eel? How uh, it's fast not do they grow? Like, how old would that guy have been? <laughs> that is not a question for me. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. Let me Google it. How old is the hills? The way I understand it is they, they can grow much larger at this depth, but they grow slower. Uh, cusk eel... Wait a minute. Life history aspects of four species of cusk eels, Retzer, 1991. That sounds like a dry read. <laughs> <laughs> and yet it was directly related to your question. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Put myself to sleep. I wonder if the pressure issue has to do with keeping the, uh, the craft valve on. Keep it off for the next little bit, and I'll tell you what I feel. Can you have yeah. a zoom on this? Yeah, absolutely. I think, I think the other watches keep it on. They do. Uh, and normally we've been running with it on just because it's mm. well, one less step to get the arm going. Yeah, but usually I turn it off after you put it away. Which is oh, what? Okay. Except recently, like just this watch. It has been worse the last hour or so. Yeah, and I just turned it off for the first time. Okay, so I'll let you know what I feel. Sorry, yes, uh, we're getting there. We're doing off-the-ply troubleshooting. You can go ahead and zoom, Panos. Ooh. This looks like the stock of a sponge, or is it the entire sponge? Yeah. Looks like a stock of a sponge, very philosophical. Missing its, missing its head? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> So with a few of your rights. That's perfect, thank you. It's interesting because you don't see it laying anywhere around. And the tissue still seems quite uh, white, yeah. so oh, I wonder yeah. if it yeah. is still quite uh, still alive. I don't see the head on the ground anywhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe it rolled away. Yeah. Fell into the ravine. Stop stressing. You'll lose your head. <laughs> Stay calm. I haven't seen any with uh, discolored bases today. I know that's not a coral, but 
I was just thinking about it. All right. That's perfect. Thank you. Um, Jane, you got to thank you for answering the question. So wonderful. Oh, you're very welcome. I love talking about that stuff and Ow. trying to understand it better. Oh, it looks like something Part of is floating here. Yeah, you want to zoom in, Panos? Part of what you do on your downtime. Yeah. Little fish. Oh, oh, uh, is that a fish? Oh, oh. interesting. Looks like a, or something. It's an isopod. It is an isopod. Looks like a shrimp to yeah. me. <laughs> Whoa. He looks confused. <laughs> Cute oh, coral. Where am I going? Oh, this one. <laughs> that looks like a giant tardigrade. Not really. Amph have amphipod, not os isopod. Doesn't have a bunch of hands. Says Steve. Amphipod. Yeah. Oh wait, no, that was a while. When was that message? Yeah, you can see the, yeah, the like the <laughs> hands on the side. They don't all He's have trying so stamps. hard. I think it might be chasing the laser. He's trying to get away from it. Do you want to slurp this guy? Oh. That'd be tough. <laughs> you do, don't you? <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. You up for a little challenge? Sure. Slurp. We have a little bit of time. Is slurp the technical term? Yep. <laughs> Suction sample. There you go. <laughs> yeah. When I slurp, you slurp, we slurp. <laughs> oh, there we go. Thank you. Um, do you want to take out the suction sample? Oh, is that what we're actually fly? doing it? Why not? Yeah. Uh, sure. Fly and slurp maneuver, says Steve. I'm not sure what that Fly and slurp? To. Which, where are we, where are we going? I need to know. Oh, he's really low to the ground. Not well, sure what that means. Yeah. I can't well, get the slurp that low. You'd have to, you have to bring the arm put, it in, your, put yeah. it in your arm, yeah. But what number? Uh, anything but one or six. Now that they're out of order, I guess I'm not going to go in order either. Whatever's oh, next no. oh. on the... Can we turn on the suction sampler? I need to get to seven. a thing. Actually, I guess the... Uh, the seven flush. I I'm guess putting a seven. In any. Yep, that's good. He's going to slurp himself. It's on. <laughs> that's what I saw on it. Oh. <laughs> Come closer, my pretty. It's like all we got to do is turn it on. It looks like something's <laughs> oh, I need to be in taking seven, photos. No? Or is that a flush? Uh, even if there were, it's only a bamboo coral, so this would be fine. Can you get the suction sampler in the down cam, please? Well, this is quite Stop flying into the vehicle, you little guy. Why don't you want to get sampled? This is like the ROV Rodeo <laughs> Olympics here. Oh, no. Oh. Come on now. Whoop, right in there. Turn it on, on, quick, on, turn it on. on. <laughs> <laughs> he just needs to get but close. He, he's like he knows. <laughs> I think he does know. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. No. Oh, oh, yeah. Dang, I really thought I had it. Okay, all right, fine. Yeah, I think it's gone. Oh, Nuts. It's gone. It's gone. That was very exciting, stubborn, though. Yeah. I'm not that stubborn. All right. Well, that's too bad. Next time. Nice try. I really thought I had him there. <laughs> Did you almost go? That, that would have gone on with the. Uh, oh, that would have been uh, just as good as that urchin. Yeah. That Josh did the other last year. I think it's when you posed the question, don't you want to be slurped? <laughs> yeah. Gosh. I can't see why you wouldn't. Ride of a lifetime. <laughs> Excellent evasion tactics by that amphipod. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah. If he knew what he was doing, I don't know, but. That was, like that was so close. Ah, dang. I don't want you to feel bad, stock. but you know he's laughing at you. <laughs> yeah, he's, <laughs> oh yeah. I don't sure. want you to feel bad. It's totally <laughs> laughing at you. I wonder, is that one of those, yeah, is that one of those, I really want to see another one of those Venus flytrap anemones. Can you zoom in there? They doesn't look the Venus one, though. Yeah. I can't really tell from far away. It does look like an anemone, though. Oh, yes. Oh, maybe it is. It is, it is, yeah. Looks like a foraid, maybe. Uh, yeah. The sponge stock. And there is something here. No, it's, I you can get better at there. rinsing out these, uh, out these buckets right. here. 
So Lynette, that. we're still a couple hundred meters That's from two, huh? Wow. We are, yep. Uh, 160 meters. Oh wait, nope, hold on. Well, that's that perfect. perfect. Thanks so much. Can you zoom out, please? Yeah, still almost 400 meters Oof, from 400. Yeah. Wow. What are we doing out here? Trying to catch amphipods or something? <laughs> Got to keep moving. <laughs> well, we are zigzagging a little bit. Yes, um, yeah. I mean, we can. Let's well, stop the ship exploring. Is too, so. Yeah, try But that's to fine. Like, maybe we should go right to it now. Sure. Or sure. Yeah. Or not. It doesn't. We don't have to go right to where two is, but to the inflection point of that contour, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, somewhere over yeah, here. Yeah, exactly. Kay. We're not here to explore. We're here to inspire. <laughs> expire. Did you say expire? Not <laughs> bridge nav. <laughs> Can we have five zero meters, one one zero, please? Thank you. We have a question in the chat about how ROVs are powered. That's Magic. quite a pillow there, isn't it? Pretty cool. Magic. Um, uh, electricity, essentially. Um, Self-determination. Um, uh, thrusters and everything are hydraulically powered, um, but it's run by a three-phase electric motor powering a hydraulic pump. So um, does the motor power the car or does the gas? Uh, can we... Can we... The motor? Here? Yeah. Then I would say it's hydraulic. Yeah. I think so. For all the different uh, yes. maneuvers, uh, all the uh, electrical kind of equipment. There. We have a mix between <laughs> AC and DC. <laughs> so we bring in uh, through the tether. We send in uh, AC voltage, three phase. What is that voltage? I can't remember. One twelve. Nice. I love. One twelve. Uh, about yeah, about one twelve, and then. Uh, yeah. That's AC. What's what do we send for the motor? What voltage? It's like it's thirty five hundred or something, isn't it? Um, that's what I uh, I forget. Don't quote me on that. So that's it is something thinking. like that. The high voltage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah th that way you can uh, deal with the loss that goes on the transmission. Is that zoomed in all the way? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you. We have a. ID for this from Steve. It's uh, Hanson Athurio. Curious whether that's named for the 90s boy band. <laughs> <laughs> Who's up? Come wide. Uh, yeah, we have a good no. capture of it, so go for it. Don't make us start singing, Jay. Next. <laughs> my goal in life. <laughs> All right, let's uh, cover some ground here for a little bit and get the end of our leash. Summer breeze. <laughs> a lot of pillows here. Yeah. That wasn't Hanson, Michael. <laughs> no, but then it popped in my head. Celebrate good times. Come on. Another sponge. Sponge. Mm, yeah. So, this one. That's a bolo. Bolo. Yeah. bolo soma. Zoom in on that. Very good. I'm getting it. <laughs> no, it you bolo always soma. mention the scientific name. This was really impressive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this would be about 20 centimeter. Is there an anatomical term for this, the head? We've been anthropomorphizing pretty badly. Uh, it looks like there is uh, some association, but uh, we can see in the but other... That's probably the sponge. There's a shrimp in there. The stock. Uh -huh. I don't know. Or but something. What was that? There's a, like a shrimp or something underneath. Yeah. You can see it in you the triclops. You can see his whiskers there or something. But yeah, in the triclops you can see him. Maybe a squat? Ooh. Well, it could be a squat. Kind of I don't think like I'm seeing thing. what you're seeing. Yeah, I think you'll be very... Check right. the triclops yeah. camera. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I'm going to try to see if I can get... Yeah, my bet's a squat. A um, good Im image from the triclops. Uh, but 
it's hard to say. Can See you can position, closer. after you do the zoom, uh, can you position the triclops, please? Yes, yeah. really hard to see what it is but it looks like it's a uh, squat lobster but oh sorry I thought you were trying to get a really good oh, shot brilliant. of it yes so it's like oh, oh, oh hold on we're coming back he's taller than I thought he was oh no, shrimp is a shrimp count it <laughs> count shrimp it count. Got it. Noted. Perfect. Oh. Mm. All right, let's get going. That's perfect. Thank you so much. Moving right along. Moving right along. Moving right along. You guys are going to make me sing a song. You don't want that. Nobody no. wants that. No fun. No singing. It looks like there's something tall in the back there. Is that the same species? That is the same. That is the same cucumber. Yes. No, it's a different one, but it's yeah, look the same. Stalked uh, crinoid in the Did right the costume side? change? <laughs> I didn't is know those had costumes. Is there an echo? Whoa, there is an echo. Really Hello. Tall. Hello. I hear the yeah, echoes. I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden the audio somewhere. feels like it sounds yeah. like it's like through a tunnel. It's almost like epic. Is there yeah, epic something did feature? change there, didn't it? It's like this we're all sitting at the bottom of the ocean. Carly Fate? Uh, yeah, it's definitely a Rosellidae. I'm just see if I can narrow down the species. It's coming out of the speaker over here. Oh. Panos? There's something. Yes? There's something with our audio. Uh, is that on purpose? Bridge nav. Well, I didn't touch anything, but. Can we have another five zero meters, Hold one on. one zero, please? Wood speaker. Thank uh, you. It sounds like it was coming from over here somewhere. I was just checking so or listening around. Seems like it's. Oh no, it's still happening. It, it happens very log. subtly. Nice Depends on how loud, and I can be pretty loud. I'm gonna have to whisper. Whisper. Test test. Maybe that's better. Pass, pass. Can we did we already zoom on the top of this yet, or no? Uh, uh, no, it's sorry. Panos cinema. was busy, so I was just getting the cinema oh, cam right, a little yeah. closer. Oh, right, yeah. He's got his work out. Um, uh, that's okay. The cinema cam looks good, so we can use that. Well, if we manage to <laughs> focus. We can, we can zoom in, if, hopefully. Yeah, whenever. Oh, sorry, I was taking the Dave. No that's problem. That's okay, yeah. Yeah. That's perfect for me for the triclops, thank you. All right, no problem. Looks like there's something in there. We are at 12 wraps almost on the winch. That's good for me too. Hmm. You want to zoom out? All right, yeah, yeah zoom out, please. You got ID? Close Color enough. Sure. some Color sort. Worm. That thing is pretty tall. Yeah, um, how many meters would you estimate that okay, is? Okay, hold on. Wow. Seven. Okay, so it's even in the si in the in the um, cyclops, which is on the porch. It's about even with the GVL, and the back of the vehicle is four meters off the seafloor. So we're looking at maybe four. Four meters. It comes up slope two. in front of us, so it'll be less than that, but I'd say a good three meters, at least. Yeah, it's pretty good. Taller than Herc. Thank you. Yeah. Dave is coming to help with, uh, with the audio. The audio issue. Cool, cool. Thank you. Of course. Move it right along. In search of good times and good news. 
Oh, I kind of like the echo. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me feel all powerful. <laughs> That's awesome. Obey me. I can finally have the uh, the backup oh, singers to my band. <laughs> oh, wow, did he so? What's this? Oh, here we go. That looks cool. Oh. Wow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is a sponge. Oh, boy. Wow. Wow, wow. now he's wow, really. Oh, whoa. <laughs> no, that was a weird swell for me. That is kind of crazy, isn't it? Well, wow. What is up at the side of that rock? Is that shadow? That looks like shadow. Um, wow, it's all. Uh, yeah, that's a shadow. We might, if there's offset. a way to get in position to sample this, we, uh, Steve, request a small. Sure. Wow, bridge. wow small. look how we beautiful. Could Stop the well. ship, maybe. Oh my God. Wow. Can we hold Is that yeah, right? you're ahead. Nice. Do you want to snip this? it? Is that what it was? Yeah, we're gonna get a snip of this. It looks like wow. a chair you could sit in. <laughs> uh, if yeah. you can, uh, maybe not a snip, but. Get a better focus. Oh wow! Um, if you can't, you guys want zoom snip? and everything first. Yeah, that'd be great. Snip? Please. Yeah. Go ahead, Miles. Um, it doesn't have to be a snip either. It could be a oh a hose slurp. Okay. Cool. Uh, I don't this know is if really the cool. Slurp is gonna be. Yeah, you have to be small pieces for that. Depends how much you guys would like. Steve says it's breaking it up with the hose is fine. Well, like uh, the hose doesn't have as much ump yeah. as it yeah. used to. Okay, well, whatever you think. Um, but that doesn't mean we can't snip it and then slurp it, so we don't have to worry about it um, floating away. What's sure. this little what are thing? What those little things? Yeah. Is it squatting in all the way? It might be a squat. We can see. We, we are, can. Yeah. Oh wow! Yes. Are they that tiny? <laughs> oh, <laughs> cup coral. Coming closer. <laughs> so maybe if we try for a slurp, we could try to get one of those as well. Yeah, and also my suggestion is like to see if you could see the texture. I don't know if it's possible with, but I. Um, at some point, it would be awesome to see the other side of it as well, but sure. not. It doesn't have to be immediately. Do you want to do that? It can be after. It snap. can be past pa uh, after sampling. Okay, can we come wide, please? If it's possible, there is a tiny dot. That could be potentially is quite lobster. Yeah, or it's 10 centimeters, so that's whatever like it is. We would like to check. Okay. It's like almost a meter across. Yeah, it's really big in Atlanta's view. Um, did we stop the ship? We stopped the ship. Yes. The is ship it possible is like that? I think I'm actually going to move you back a little bit. Yeah, I was just about to request that. Bridge nav. <laughs> Hold on a second. Here. Boom. Thank you. Bridge nav. Can we have two zero meters two nine zero, please? Thank you. It, it looked. The cinema cam's pretty good. If you can hold, just for me to take some pictures. Oh, there's oh. a little bitty. With the cinema cam? In the cinema cam, okay, but yeah. I, I, would I would like to make sure I'm in focus. Yeah, the cinema cam uh, looks a little bit darker than usual. I, I put it a little bit dark just to get a contrast with the white. Oh, yeah, I see, I see, I see, yeah. I see. I see. So okay, I, okay. I, I was, was like, me what is going after on? After I can... Look at you, you're like, you're like getting all the intimate. Oh, those are shrimp, like not that. squat lobsters. Yeah, there's some... Well, that's, I don't know, that's definitely a shrimp on the lower it. part, but there's smaller things up there. I thought those kind of had the same same general color. I want to so. get uh, the shrimping focus first. Uh, okay, here, it's hold on, hold on, hard. bring it back. Uh, but it's too small. It's too small, eh? Then it's, it's really... <laughs> we do, we do uh, if you can, when I focus, if you can tr uh, press here, please. Okay, hold on, we'll bring it back. We're coming back. We're coming back. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I can't. My eyes are bad. I it didn't look in focus to me. I think she got the crino in focus. So um, a tentative idea on this from Steve it's is the Afro Callistidae, yeah. also known as the cloud sponge for clear reasons. It does look like a papa -san chair. Uh -huh. It does. All right, what are we doing? We're going to go for a slurp. Um, 
That was Steve's recommendation, but I, I can also defer to the ROV pilots what they think. They, uh, it's likely to be fragile and break up, and that's okay. It, okay. If we're going to go just for the uh, sponge, I can snip it, and then we can slurp it into buckets. So we don't have to worry about it. Ooh, okay. If you want to get any type of, like, things, like living things, we would try, I would try, I would recommend we do that first. And then we could try to, like, soak or get some sponge in there, but. Um, what do you think, Dwight? Yeah, um, I, I think th snipping it, it's going to start floating away on you and might be tough to, like, deal with it once it's snipped. So I would say, All right. let's try can, suction. If we can slurp a shrimp with it, <laughs> we could do that, but otherwise not necessary. Uh, it looks like. Oh, I'll let you land it first. Ophuroids and crinoids that we've seen be before. Option. You might have to just hold it while you do your All thing. All right, what 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 jar? Yeah, so you're gonna grab yeah. the slurp and uh, use it with the what with jar? The, are with you the claw. Are you still on uh, seven, bottle seven? No. Eight. Well, whatever bottle you're on, if it's empty, that's fine. We only have two bottles that, used right now. That's the flesh. I'm fleshing it. Oh, well, not that one then. <laughs> um, let's do. I can go seven. Whatever's close. Want. Seven's nearby. Yep. I know you might need to deal with the... I can do the suction if you're... Uh, or do you want me to do the arm? Okay. Can you get me on the arm? It is officially August 18th, UTC. Aha. Uh -huh. Hold on, you got nope. the back of it. I got the back of it. Sorry. There we go. No. There you go. That's what I need. see some of that truncated pillow in the still cam. Yeah. Why is everything weird for me uh, today? Freeze the arm for a second. Hey, so while they're doing that, can you take a picture from this, the triclops of these uh, interesting yeah. rock features? Sorry, we're about to yeah, move. Yeah, I think I took already. Oh, great. But I can always I take off the landscape as well. So there is loads of pictures for the data team to pass through. <coughs> Is that a piece of the sponge falling? What's happening? Bridge now. I'm not doing anything. Yeah, it happens sometimes. Don't worry about it. Can we have another one zero meters, two nine zero, please? Oh, uh, we got a problem. Thank you. Oh, that was weird. It was engaged. I know. But yeah. it was still moving. It happens. I've been, I've been noticing it. Um, but luckily, it's that one and not the wrist rotate. We can uh, we can manage it. It listens when you're fully actuating the uh, the trigger. There you go. Okay, hold on, bring it back. Okay. It's too tall, I don't think we're gonna be able to sit there. So. I 
I'm just going to come in really slow. Um, and you grab what you can. What do we, what are we aiming for? Um, anything that's accessible. That looks like there's a part that's already kind of hanging off on the left. Oh, and falling. There, there you go. Should we try to get that? Yeah. You turn on the section. Yeah. Yeah. Don't there. worry, Steve. We'll get that. Since we have that piece, would it be better just to put it in? A bio box potentially? Um, this stuff is really difficult so um, to keep, keep in, in the bio box because it's yeah. so neutrally buoyant. Yeah, true. Ah, oh, I lost the. Okay, hold on, we're gonna sit here. It's all right. It's happy. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I got it. It's quite a bit, though. Looks like it's breaking up, kind of. Yeah, that's quite a bit. Can it be broken up against the rocks, potentially? Oh, we got some little fragments in there. Yeah, I know. I saw it breaking up a bit. Um, can I make a suggestion? Yeah. Um, put the suction sampler on the edge of the porch, and then if you can, like, lightly grab it and then bring it towards um, the mouth of the suction. It breaks apart really easy, so I'm thinking if we can, ah. if we can get it to the, uh, if we can get it to the mouth that it, while well, it's in your jaw, you might just be able to actuate the jaw in and out a little bit and break it apart, and we can suck it up as it. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Um, it, it is on a bungee, so sometimes if you just like knock the hose, or, like on the porch, it'll knock that. Like it's caught on probably the hose clamp or something up here. Yeah. Come on. Sure. If this larger fragment is too hard to break up because it's now mobile, we could go back and take material off the sponge, the larger colony itself too, if need be. That seems to be breaking up pretty easy. Good. Yeah. But uh. Also, your mic is. It was not only was it up, it was muted. <laughs> so I'm surprised you heard that at all. Um, I'm yeah, just trying, to get, I'm trying to get back in, like you said. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, it's just my shoulder. So let me know if you want to swap. You haven't gone and seen the Nautilus masseuse on board? <laughs> they have those. If only. Oh, just drop it. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna turn the suction up to 40. 30, 40, should be, there we go. Now we're starting to see some. S there you go.
And then just like, yeah, I was thinking of just like smearing it on the. Oh, this would be good. Seventy percent suction. <laughs> it's like right in there. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. A couple pieces. Yeah, we're getting like pieces. I don't know if you saw much yep. in there. Yeah. There's three or four in there um, now. There's a big one in the jar. Um, it's hard. To, it's hard to do. But if you can angle the fa the finger and poke it in the end of the the suction sampler, maybe get a few more pieces. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Keep your jaw closed. There you go. Go a little higher. I can't get the rest of it's like falling underneath. Yeah. Um, There's another piece there. We can uh, turn it off real quick and see how much we have. And if you want more, we can try to get more from the main one. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. All right, go turn it off. Tate, turning off suction. That is zero. We got bits of it. We're gonna. I'm just trying to see how. I much know for a fact there was there's a good quite a few actually in there. Um, a couple of big ones. Anyway, um, if you feel like you want more, there was two big ones right there. Yeah, I'm waiting on a a response. Here. I do not know the so. diameter of the bucket. All right. I, I think it's it. a one and a half inch. Well, it's about the size of my hand, so I'm about like six. I think the end of the six the and a half feet. Um, no, not feet. Uh, inches. Like, wait, Six what? and a half inches is the diameter of the bucket. Yeah, so let's try and get some more if we can. If we need to go to the whole colony and we can like shave the side of the <laughs> of the sponge, try and get a few more flakes off. Okay. Um, let me grab the thing first. Got some in the jaw there. Do I? Yeah, you do. Here, bring it to the front of the. Oh, I see it. Bring it to the suction sampler. It goes sideways to it, and then uh, I'll ramp it up to 70 or so. See if we can get that piece. Okay, hold on. Okay, we should start seeing suction. Started last time at 40%. There we go. 50. There you go. Ready? I'm gonna go. Ready? I'm ready. Yep, it's up to 60%. Oh, nice. There you go. A couple more pieces. That's awesome. If we could maybe try and get that last bit that's fallen off, broken up again into the slurp. Yeah, you wanna grab the fallen piece? Do it again? Or no? No. Alright, I'm getting discombobulated. Let me know if you want to swap. You're doing good, I'm not trying to tell you to swap, I'm just letting okay. you know you can. All right, I got it. You want to try getting some more of this, or you want to go to the colony? Um, it seems like this is breaking up pretty well uh, when it's, you know. So let's try and just get the last of what's already on the ground if we can. Um, but we don't have to spend too much more time here. Oh no, I'm at the. Uh, it's like at the edge of the, my grip. Is that some right there, right in front of us? I believe so. James, start telling me what to do when you're on mute. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
Yeah, yeah. Am I in there? I think you're just below it. There. All right, once we get a little bit of this piece, or if it's uncooperative, let's we can move on. We've already been here for 14 minutes, so it looks like. Um, oh, is it inside the tube? It's inside the tip? tube. Awesome. I wonder if it'll... Yeah. Is suction on? Yeah, it's, yeah. Give it a is it suctioning? Hmm. Come on. Going to your there. home. Do you know what sample is that? That sample is 099. 099, thank you. I keep forgetting I have another camera to look at. And I'm looking over here at Bubble trying to make my life work. <laughs> You're doing a great job. Yeah. Nice. All right. I Yay. did all that in bubble. I don't <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's so call dumb. that a successful sample. Thank you. Shout out to the ROV pilots. Thank you all. I keep forgetting to look at Zeus. Okay. And then we, could we also just get that imagery from the back of the sponge before we... Well, hold, hold on. There's another request. Oh. <laughs> uh, there's a tiny little squat lobster on the rock in front of us. You can see it in triclops. It's so small. It's a little yeah, white dot. I don't know where you're looking. <laughs> um, <laughs> that one right there? Oh, and is that another one? It's if, on we, if you can right. tilt your Zeus camera up and try to zoom on it. Um. I swear, I don't know how Paolo spots these things. <laughs> uh, yeah, keep going. It's sort of right in the center of the screen now. And let's take a zoom and see what we see. I don't even think with a microscope we would be able to zoom in <laughs> on it that. It is one. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> How did she Paola, see that? Paula, you are the goat. <laughs> You're the greatest of all time yeah, at squat lobster is. spotting. <laughs> Amazing. The goat of squat lobsters on the boat. It's so small. <laughs> yeah, this is like less than a centimeter. Okay. Um, is there possible to zoom more? I think that's... Okay, there's, it's not a, we're not going to slurp that, are we? And I guess there's actually another one um, if, to if the there is any one o'clock, two o'clock. I think o'clock. you'll be the hero of Paolo forever and ever, but if it's, it's not worth a try, if yeah. you guys can make an effort here, yeah. Do you want to zoom out? Uh, yeah, it's saying there's two of them on that yeah, rock. I'm sorry, my beside. mic was muted. Yes, zoom out, please. <laughs> All right, so I think the best thing for me to do... Can you smear? Can you you know how to smear? <laughs> I, I want to get a better position, like a better. You want to grip it better? Yeah, because that that does not that's not gonna fly, right? The, the good news is it's two options. It's hard like that because the arm is kind of blocking <laughs> access with the rocks there. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Sample jar. Do we want them in a different one? Um, yeah, I mean, we're not going to confuse it with the sponge, but if uh, we have available space in yeah, others. Okay, so which ones are being used? Obviously seven. Um, one and six, aside from seven. But if it's easy, I mean, there's no problem in putting it into a sponge jar, right? No. Yeah, let's just keep it in and make it easy. Oh, you already changed it. I That's changed good, it. too. Sorry. That's fine. If you're that's trying to save space, is that better? You can't. You think no, that's better? it's all good. We uh, are good. Hey, we're on sample 100, everybody. Pucks are Woo! the best. Woo! Pucks are the best. Do you oh. think that's better? No, T handles are much worse. Are you happy there? Oh, that's right, though. If you find it easier, you grab the whole tube. Grab the whole tube. I mean, not the orange part, like you mean the around the pucks, but like grab the whole thing. I can try. If you want. If not, you have a hold of it. So if you're happy here, yeah, we I'm can happy there. Okay, then let's. Um, oh, I don't want to try to waste more time. For future, th for future consideration. 
Okay, let's go get this white speck. <laughs> <laughs> In the name of science. In the name of science. Um, let me bring it in. Landscape. And then close it, and then let me, let me get there yeah, it's on the here bubble. Or here. Yeah. yeah, there's two of them. Do you think they'll duel it out if we put them in the same jar? Do you wait? Do you change buckets, or do you want it in the same bucket? I changed bucket? buckets. Okay. Well, they're liable. To, they're starting to get a little, uh, a little nervous. I see them starting to edge it sideways. So. They are good at abating us. These are like they are, yeah, he might jump comically them. small. <laughs> it's not size shame. Do you want to zoom in, James? Uh, yes, please. Yeah, that'd be great. At least uh, so keep his fingers in, in view, please. Yes, okay. Fingers yep. and toes crossed. <laughs> Alright, buddy, ready? I'm going to turn on suction. Wait, wait, wait. Go ahead. Go get ahead. it up to, oh, what? Did I get it? No. Oh, uh, I guess this actually is not a squat lobster. I've mistaken it for a crab. Steve says the one on the left is the squat. This one's not. It's a deceptively similar looking crab. Sorry, the specs all look the same. I <laughs> totally agree. I, I would right. never okay, have known on. the I'm difference. I'm going to turn the vehicle for you, but we don't want to stretch the hose out too far. And then Sorry about that. Sorry, that wa I, that wasn't the one that we originally looked at. So, well, we thought, yeah, fault, I thought, fault. I think we both really thought that um, we all really thought that they were both. Well, <laughs> yeah, the only one managed to differentiate is Paul, actually. Yeah, world class squat lobster expert. I think she needs a belt or a trophy. Uh, do you think I'll have enough room with the? No, I'm uh -huh. gonna back up. It's just there's that, that rock to the front left of the yes, cyclops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It knew where to go. It knew to be in the yeah, thing. Yeah, they're smarter than we give them credit for. Also, also pressure. Okay, I think you can get that. What do you think? Bite, yeah. Where's this fella? Yeah, I might be yeah, able to go ahead, it. zoom in. There he is. Okay, watch it, cause you're and you can't see it. <gasps> you're hitting the. You're hitting yeah, the. Uh, yeah. the Want to get the suction going? Is it going? It's, it's, yeah, it's going. It's hard. I can't see where, like, anything else. Okay, so, uh, and the down cam, you can see where the lasers are. That left laser is where the spec is. There you go. Down, sorry, on, the, on that camera. It's hard to decipher. You, you can pan, tilt, and zoom that camera. Right. Bubble cam. I need an, I need more hands. I need a. I. I need to see what the arm's doing. Can you zoom out, Panos, all the way, please? Okay. All right, you can zoom back in. So I'm against the uh, rock here. Yep. About 60% suction. Mm. Oh, you're going to get him. We got him. We're going to get him. So Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Hey, well done. Yay. Amazing. All right, back off. So. Oh my God. Yeah, zoom out, please, all the way. Okay, I'm going to back the vehicle out of here. Um, can you, when I'm you're ho happy, I'm holding it, yeah. Still the arm when you're happy. Yes. Bye. There he yep. is. Yes. Okay, Thank let's you so much. 
Fantastic. Nice job. Very nice. You're welcome. Good job. Yeah, I was going to say, Michael, <laughs> you don't even need to do anything on stage to get the claps. You just have to do <laughs> sampling. We were talking about your uh, career in Usually I go. I think it's comedy good. earlier. Dun, dun, dun. Good stuff. Recoil. That's fine. If we if it's really bugging me, I'll porch out and then porch in. It'll it'll be fine. Are you sure? Yep. Okay. Last requests in this area is the back Here. side of the yeah, Papa little, John chair. Do a, little, <laughs> do a little pirouette. I don't know. I think that one would be really popular in a home store. Probably I should like it like that. Glass, Pier though. one imports would pay yeah. good money for that. Probably not a glass version of it though. <laughs> Mike, can you please turn off uh, port flights? Uh, well, yeah, it says I'm done. Oh. Sorry, sorry, I thought you were done. Sorry. Yeah. We just got to wait for him to s put the arm away and then I'll get my pressure back. Here we go. Yeah. All right, back side of the sponge. Yeah. Panos, can you zoom in like maybe 50%? I got excited for a second. <laughs> That's good there. This is a beautiful structure. Isn't it? Oh, it's fantastic. And you can see they hold fast um, very well. Yeah. We're still very not moving, yeah? We're not moving. No. Wow, this is amazing. It's really lopsided too. I guess that's by design. So does that or the current cup side face into the current? Uh, that's what we would guess, I think, right? Oh, so someone had mentioned for like a possible foray a day as a tentative ID, uh, Asako, I think it was, and yeah, it does have a that sp like spine-like stalk. Aspidoscopulia. <laughs> I hope I pronounced that right. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. Looks like vertebrae. It does. I was just going to yeah. say that. Yeah, up the spine. I'm going to try to get some sh shots with the triceps. Yeah, sure. I'll come down. Yeah. Yep. It's get making me think shots. of the spine and lungs. Yeah. That's not a squat lobster on the top, is it? Big one. <laughs> I think it was. Like <laughs> <laughs> that's like that's like the ROV pilot's <laughs> least favorite I word. Think the ROV <laughs> I wake up in night sweats. Oh, squat lobster. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, interesting. Apparently, we have uh, some quote unquote fossils of this type of sponge at University of Rhode Island. Are you aware right. of that, Dwight? Oh, wow. Coated in uh, iron manganese. Cool. Didn't know about Can that. Can you turn off the, the, the lasers just for a moment? So are you still looking in the cinema cam? I am, yeah. Okay, I'll try to get Sorry. that view from underneath. Is that what you'd like? I think all of these views are nice. Taking few to make sure it's... It's going to make the highlight reel. This is a nice one. Are these, they're kind of like tubes that go on? Yeah, so. It's an ophiroid, not a squat. All right. Hooray. So that's perfect. Thank you. Thanks so much. Good job. Beautiful. Let's go. All right. Nice. <laughs> well done. That was a very uh, fruitful little alcove that we stopped in at. So right great. The morphology of the sponge, you see the body, and they have a cavity. The cavity is uh, sponge coel. Call. And the holes that we see um, is where they have the flow of the water, where they filter the water that's passing by, and they can um, um, get it what, what they need in their nourishment. So the the little holes we see called 
I think the way I pronounce is Oscolum, but I, I'm not sure if that's the correct pronunciation in English. Yeah, like a column. That makes sense. Okay, we have about 350 meters left to waypoint two. Let's see if we can get there. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. We have some nice compliments in the chat. The cinnamon cam is this of this sponge is so incredible to watch. Fantastic work. Uh, we also have a, I'd like to thank you for all the wonderful job you do and the spectacular views that you bring to the world. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Can we zoom in there, Panos? Oh, a fish. Mm. Orange eyes. Creepy. It's another... No, not that. I'm zoom. Roger that. Is this another cuscale, maybe? It looks like it. Its head looks like a different shape, but it's a different angle, too. Yeah, the body looks the same, but you're right, the head looks a little bit different. I think it might, might be just a different angle for us. But there is no... The, like, uh, Looks like you bumped into some rocks, it, or it, mm -hmm. it bumped into some rocks. Definitely. It's dark down there. Yeah, we had a question earlier about whether or not the fish could see. And during a ship to shore interaction with students, they asked if the lights from Hercules bothered the fish. Not that we've seen. I mean, I think uh, they don't scoot away, really. At least a lot of the species we encounter. Yeah, it's hard to say. I'll be honest with you, having you know, done this for a few years, I find that they're kind of attracted to the lights, um, which I I almost find counterintuitive. I mean, they are not, they never see the light of day, and we come down with the power of the sun with all these bright lights. Yeah. Yeah. I would think that they'd be not necessarily blinded, but like not wanting to look directly at it. But how uh, many species do we just not see because they're? That's true, because they, they avoid it. Point. Yeah. yeah. So we only see the blinded ones, is what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> uh, exactly. And the deaf ones, all the <laughs> hydraulic yeah. yeah. attracted so to That's warm. right, yeah, and the noise, too. So we're warm. noisy and bright down and there. Vibration. Because those, uh, those lights get pretty bright. They can get, they can warm up pretty little bit. So, and the warm, uh, the warmth of Herc, you know, I, I would be, be surprised if it's like half a degree, at least. Warmer than the surrounding water. Yeah, at least, I'd say. Hydraulic temperature's 40 degrees. And right, water temperature's 2. We're on a mission to make it to waypoint 2. All right, by the zoom end of out, please. <laughs> Sorry, I got... <laughs> no, we're good. It's all good, thank Mesmerized you. Mesmerized by the orange eyes. Yeah, and I don't think that fish could see very well because it ran right into that coral. That's what it wanted you to think. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they do get a little disoriented. Like, we see... Um, I don't, I never remember what they are. The eel-like fish always crashing the, into the The hagfish-looking ones? Uh, I know the hagfish, like, they would, like, they look like they just, like, get stunned in the middle of a swim. Yeah, like the know, rat like tails and cusk eels. Cutthroats, yeah. Cutthroats, yeah. yeah. No, that's not the one I was thinking of. Yeah, they, it has to affect them in some capacity. Are the rocks getting bigger? Are we getting smaller? Or have we just been <laughs> looking at <laughs> tiny spot <laughs> lobsters? <laughs> A lot of pillow basalt boulders here. Can zoom in? Is that a shrimp? Another amphipod or? Shrimp. Shrimp. Can I zoom out? We're at shrimp. Shrimp count number 10. 11, actually. Oh, thank you. And honestly, I probably missed a few. <laughs> well, there were a couple in that sponge that I think we were. Yeah, I put in two for that one, things. but. Nice. They were small. Probably, so. probably more. Bridge now.
I'm envisioning Five, a whole interior one design one zero, here. Please. Basalt pillows and papasan sponges. Thank you. Panos, can we turn the iris down just a little bit? Thank you. Sure. Now those things are hard to see. There's another, what did we call this? You zoom in. Oh. Holothurian. Yeah. It is um, similar to the one yeah, that we looks have seen. Yeah, it looks the same. Hansen-Thurian. Yeah. Hanson Lothuria. That one's smaller though, I think. All right, come wide, please. Just now starting to tug Avalanche around, so see if there's anything interesting around here. Maybe this way. That was good. Rocks. There's something. 